all the coal. Where have all the cowboys gone? No, I bring you Vanessa Feltz. Good morning. Hello, where have all the cowboys gone? And here's Vanessa Feltz. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> all right, at right, all. okay. Uh, we, we, we rethink the <laughs> running order, please. Yes. <laughs> see you. I'll tell you what's going on on the Jeremy Vine show this afternoon. After the heat wave, of course, we're being warned that parts of England and Wales will see torrential rain. Mm. And here's the question. How do you prepare for a flash flood? Yeah, I mean, you don't know it's going to hit you. Exactly. I mean, it could rain for five minutes and that's it, and then it's all over. But of course, you get a downpour, hard ground, baked hard, exactly. dry ground. And so we've got advice, off. actual practical advice about what you can do. And the other words, don't just sit there and wait for it because that won't be funny. So we've got that going on. Okay. Uh, soaring inflation has caused pay to fall at the sharpest pace on record. Uh, and yesterday, I had a very interesting call actually from a lady who described herself as part of the squeezed middle. She said she and her husband have got a combined income of about £60,000 a year. Obviously, they don't receive any benefit of any kind. And she said it's extremely difficult to manage. And some people, of course, were immediately annoyed by this and said, hang on, wait a minute, average salary, £30,000. What's this person complaining about? So what we're asking this afternoon is, are you part of the squeezed middle? Someone who really does earn a decent wage, but is still struggling to keep your head above water. We're going to talk to a man who was sent to boarding school as a child. He's 62 now. He says he's still living with the trauma that he went through there. And I'm sure there are going to be people who can relate to that and a farmer bringing in the harvest had their combine harvester physically blocked by an angry man who said his family meal had been spoiled (laughs) he's sitting in the field is he he was near the field so you know i just wonder if we've got people listening who work on farms agricultural people who think that there are people who just don't get it don't understand harvest or machinery or smells or noises i think there's quite a number of people like that i think they might well think that so please do email your comment to vine at bbc.co.uk including your name and phone number you can text us on 88 291 or whatsapp us on 08000 288 291 Vanessa's here at 12. Join her.